This is Matrix Lord 212 talking about Doctor Who. A lot of people are wondering, you know, why I'm not excited about a new Doctor. Why I'm not talking about who the 14th Doctor could be. Um, and there's a reason behind it. And, and that reason being, it really doesn't matter. Um, as shocking as it is for me to say it, Chris Chibnall is still the showrunner. And I've said it so many times. You cannot blame Jodie Whittaker for everything that's going on. You can't blame her at all. Okay? She's an actress. She's given scripts. And she has to act out how the Doctor is. Chris Chibnall, as the showrunner, shapes the Doctor the way he wants the Doctor to be. Okay, so he wanted his doctor, his actress, to not know anything to do about who the doctor is, how she's supposed to act. He's basically the super director. Okay, so if you feel that she's not being the doctor to your liking, has nothing to do with her. She was under orders. It's Chris Chibnall. In her spare time, she has watched Doctor Who. She has changed her character based on watching and binge-watching tons of stuff. But ultimately, Chris Chimno was the one that sets the direction for Doctor Who. The writing chooses the writers, chooses everything. He chooses what merchandise goes out, how much information he gives. He is the showrunner. He is running the show the way he wants it to be. And no one can say anything. Because he's the boss. So if you're questioning why ain't there new action figures, he doesn't want people to see it. If you're questioning why ain't there enough merchandise like t-shirts, it's because he doesn't want you to see it. Uh, everything he does, whether it be not wanting a Christmas special, that's on him. He doesn't want the Christmas special. And you'll never get a Christmas special as long as he is showrunner. He has different beliefs than other showrunners. So why ain't I excited about who the 14th Doctor is? Because it's the same show. Like with Moffat and Rusty Davis, you got a different feel when there was a new Doctor. There's not going to be a different feel. Um, there's no excitement in my speech because basically everything remains the same. I feel that this timeless child story arc ruined um, Jodie Whittaker's legacy because the whole run is about her not knowing who she is. Meaning, like, now the Doctor isn't a Time Lord. Now the Doctor isn't from this universe, isn't from Gallifrey. And now you just, going into the 60th anniversary, you kind of shit on the legacy of Doctor Who, where... Her whole role as a doctor is questioning things. And there is no definitive... Um, like, it's not like she's going to come out of it and say, all right, now I'm the doctor and now let's get a new season on. No, she's going to find out everything and then it's going to be too late. So I do feel that Chibnall, if he doesn't reverse the Timeless Child, then... It's the downfall of Doctor Who. Like, I honestly feel that you're ruining the legacy of Doctor Who with the story arc, and you have to fix it for the next person coming in. And I have a feeling he's not going to fix it um, lately because, you know, he, he is doing one good thing is that is, he is looking, he is having the Doctor look to the past with past companions. Before Moffat would not even think of having people coming back, really. Uh, very rarely. There was always a a, a reason behind it, like when he brought Peter Davison back as a doctor, but you know, or the or the the caretaker, and you know, basically. Um, but the whole point is that he he looks back, which is good, but then there's bad qualities, and bad qualities is the show has lost its feeling, its heart. It, 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 it The soundtrack is not movie-style, trailer-driven, emotional.
emotional, like, it just doesn't have what Murray Gold has. And if it's his style, that's true, but you can't get it at, at, at you can't listen to his music and listen to it over and over and over. The only thing you can listen to with his soundtrack is the master's theme. But other than that, there's nothing that's even memorable. It's just noise and, and percussion and different things. And it's not like Chris Chibnall does not put everything into making Doctor Who have feeling and emotion and warmth he says that there's fam, but there's no real sense of fam, family. Um, he made the doctor detached, where she's not close with Graham. Like, he doesn't, like, it's just not there about, like, him having cancer and talking to her and her not really talking about it, opening up about it. But And even this whole thing about the doctor and Yaz, the doctor and Yaz, it's like, forced because like now Yaz is in love with the doctor doc doesn't know that so it's like you know this is what I'm talking about it's just he can't develop characters like Russell T Davis he can't develop story arcs like Moffat he's his own man as a showrunner Chris Chibnall it's different and it's not necessarily working at the moment so um you saying, why, Matrix Lord, are you not excited about the 14th Doctor? It's because the writing is the same and the show run is the same. And you're not going to like the 14th Doctor, probably. Or, or either you might like the actor or actress. But it's Chris Chibnall. And only Chris Chibnall could fix it. And will he? Will he get it done quick and move on? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I I, I kind of wanted to believe he would. But, you know, the thing is that Doctor Who, the ratings are also not as bad as people are saying. Um, people want it to be as bad as they're saying because they want change, but it's not going to happen. Uh, and anybody that's happy about Jodie Whittaker leaving, it doesn't, it's irrelevant because Chris Chibnall is not leaving. So I'm not going to be talking about Doctor Who every single day because it's, what are you going to talk about? I mean, uh, Weeping Angels, cool. Centauran's cool. But the underlining story arc is that she isn't a Time Lord. She isn't Gallifreyan. And she's not even from this universe. So it's like, I mean, what is she going to do? She's going to go talk to past doctors. All right, well, then you're going to tell them what's going on. They're only going to remember it for a little while, then they're going to forget it because of the time, timey-wimey stuff, but, like, they're going to tell her, oh, you know, we're the doctor, that's it, like, and she's going to be like, oh, okay, but you just got to make it that the master didn't even know what he was talking about, that the master was duped, that's all. All right, guys, that's my thoughts on this whole 14th doctor. There's no hype at all. It, you, you can't get hype about something that's not Here's the thing, while the ratings isn't as bad, okay, the fan base is just not as interested, okay? It's kind of like you want to get hyped for something, but there's no hype because the, the very storyline is bringing down the show. There's two storylines going on at the same time, okay? The only storyline that people care about is where Joe Martin fits in as the doctor. They don't give a shit about the timeless child at all. They really don't. They're not fucking crazy about it. They're not, you know, and people say, no, it's exciting. Yeah, they say it's exciting for like a couple of months, but then they're even like, oh, Jesus Christ, will this be over with already? So the timeless child is bringing down the show and they need to get rid of it. And go back to form. That's it. All right. Take care. Bye for now.